Hi Stampers, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to do the bandana technique. Remember the old bandanas that people used to keep in their pockets or wear on their neck? That's what we're going to try to replicate today. So let me give you a list of supplies we're going to be using. For stamp sets, we're using Paisleys and Posies. And we're going to be using this small squiggly, this little, uh, looks like a little sun almost, the little dotted paisley, the little tiny leaf, and the sentiment that reads, my world is brighter and more beautiful because of you. For ink colors, we're going to use basic black, Versamark, and you're also going to need the Craft White ink refill. We're going to be using it um, to use it to color. We're going to put some in a little tray or anything that you have that you can put the ink into. For cardstock, Whisper White, we need two pieces, one measuring three and a quarter inches by five, and one measuring five and a quarter by four. And you're also going to need Real Red, five by three and three quarter, and Basic Black, five and a half by eight and a half and you're going to score it at four and a quarter and fold. I am also using the embossing buddy and the white embossing powder and just a few tools, your bone folder, your paper snips and we are going to need a stylus. And lastly, uh, stamping dimensionals and a heat tool. So let's get started on our project for today. The first thing we're going to do is fold the cardstock in half, the basic black, and then I'm going to glue the Whisper White layer. And I'm also going to get the sentiment layer ready just so we'll have it done. So I'm going to bring in the basic black ink. Stamp the sentiment. And then we're going to cut a notch on the end. And I'm going to cut off about an inch. The easiest way to cut a notch that I always show my local girls is trimming this way, halfway, and then go to the corner and go where you trimmed. And then go to the second corner and go up where you trimmed. Easy way to do that. Now we're going to work on the bandana part of the card. So I'm going to bring in the real red cardstock. I am using my stamp and pierce mat today because that helps with um, the photopolymer stamps. I'm going to add a piece of scrap. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring in my embossing buddy and just add some powder all over my piece. And this just takes care of any. Um, greasy fingerprints or any static and then we're going to bring in the dotted paisley with the Versamark ink and I'm just going to add a few of those and you'll be able to see as I stamp them I'm going to try to replicate my card as much as I can I'm going to add four of those and then we're going to bring in the white embossing powder and I stick my cardstock right in my container so I don't make a mess okay let me put this aside and put the lid on so I don't make a mess so now I'm going to heat up my embossing powder. So I'm going to be a little bit noisy just for a few minutes. Now we're going to be using the basic black ink and the paisley with the designs in it. And we're actually going to line those up with each paisley. So 
So we got four of those to stamp. Do you see the way it's starting to look like a bandana already? And now we're going to bring in the one that I said looks like a little sun. And you're just going to try to fill in the background as much as you can. And then we're going to use the small leaf to finish the rest of it. Just add a few more here. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the little tiny leaf and just try to fill in the remainder of the background. And just a few more. Okay, see how cute that looks? It does start to look like a bandana. Now I'm going to bring in my little paint dish and I'm going to add a little bit more of white to what I already have there. This, the ink refill for the white is really thick. I'm going to bring in a tissue and I'm just going to stir it up just to make sure it's nicely mixed. And what I'm going to do, I'll show you on here, is add little dots to the center of my little sun and then little tiny ones where the paisley, on the end of each paisley. So I'm going to use the bigger ball and then I'm just going to go round and round until that's almost filled in. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just be careful not to touch where you've already added ink. It's going to take a little while to dry. Okay, so that's the inside of all of my little, my little sun, sun shape. Now I'm going to use the smaller end. And all I'm going to do is tap down once like that. Okay, now we need to let this dry and it's probably going to take about a half hour. And so that I don't have to make you wait, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to do a reverse gluing. I'm going to add my snail to my card front leaving about a quarter of an inch and make sure it's not upside down. I'm going to be very careful not to touch any of the ink and glue that in place and I'll press it down more when it's dry later. And then I've added three dimensionals to the back of my sentiment. So as you can see, this is a quick card. The worst part is the heat embossing and then letting the ink dry. And we're going to add that right on the edge of the real red. And that's it for this card. Very quick. And you don't have to stick with the real red cardstock. You could actually make these in any color because, of course, the bandanas come in any of the colors. I think it would be pretty with the bright orange, uh, tangerine tango. Cucumber Crush, and probably Pacific Point would be beautiful also. If you have any questions, make sure you leave me a message on YouTube or send me an email. I'll have all my information at the end of the video, and I will have a list of all the supplies you need for your card. Thanks so much for stopping by.